Well, we've been working on our ships for our sea. And I wanted to talk to you today about a couple of things that, that could help you along your way as you're creating your ship. Now, you might have noticed I used these craft sh sticks. I broke them in half with my hands and I glued them down. Many of you started gluing down your craft sticks on the front of your ship, but also don't forget to get these sides um, as well. Then I've got such a great, great plan for my mast. So as you know, the ship has this pole that goes up and then um, the fabric masts and sails that come off of it. To do that, what I've done is I took a toilet paper tube and I cut it in half. So it's like this. There's a couple of ways that you can get this stick on here. One way, and I was very impressed that I saw another student do, is he actually cut, just like this, slits in to it, so, and then glued, his, glued the sail right onto there. That is one idea. He did this in both sides and glued that down. Very creative idea. I love it. Also, you can come to Mrs. Kearns, and like what I've done with mine, I can cut a couple slits right here in yours, and you can simply feed it through. But I've got to be the one to do that uh, because uh, I've got to use a sharp knife for that. Once you've created your ship, it's time to paint. We're going to be using tempera paint. My tempera paint is in the ice cube trays. My suggestion for painting is using the Mama Bear brush and the baby bear brush. The mama bear will go ahead and get kind of those main um, painting done and then the baby bear can add details. The more details you have, the better. Your paintbrush must be clean and dry before you dip into any color. And you wanna go ahead and you are going to paint everything that you have used to create that ship and the sails and the mass. If you used um, the toilet paper tubes, we're going to go ahead and paint those. And notice I'm painting this all white. Now what I'll probably do is for the design or pattern on this sail, I will use my Baby Bear paintbrush to, to paint that in. I also want to show you, let's pretend like I just painted that whole thing. I'm going to change color, so I'm going to rub the paintbrush on the bottom of my cup of water. I'm going to rub it on the sides and dry it off good. I've decided I want my ship to be brown. I'm going to go ahead and take my brown paint and I'm going to pull it across. That looks really cool. I'm going to pull it across those pieces of wood. Um, if you want to get down in those crevices, you can do that with the paintbrush. Once you have completely painted this, don't forget you can go back in and add details. Even while it's wet, a lot of times you can go back and add the details. So I might want to add um, the bolts that are keeping these pieces of wood together. So let me show you that really quickly. I'm going to use the Baby Bear brush for that. I'm going to dip it into the black and I'm going to simply put the bolts on just like that. I think that really adds a lot to it. Now remember this is your ship. It can be any color you wish. Um, if you want yours to be rainbow, it can be rainbow. It can, it can be anything that you want. Remember we're painting everything. When you set this over to dry, we're gonna, uh, um, I'm gonna have the trays out and you'll set it on the tray and make sure your name's on the back. Have a great time creating your ships today.